More weather with kids here on Fox 9. That's right. Let's get the latest question with Scott. What do we got for tonight? Well, we uh, are talking clouds. Our head is in the cloud. Oh. My head's in the clouds right now. <laughs> See, right there. And we've got a cloud question from Barbara Morgan, STEM, Aca STEM Academy, right here. My name is Annabelle Yost. I go to Barbara Morgan STEM Academy. And my wonder question is, why can't you see the sun shining through the cumulus clouds? Great question. Why can't you see the sun shining through cumulus clouds? Well, let's take a look at our different clouds and cloud heights. The cumulus clouds are those puffy ones right here, and they're fairly low clouds, even lower than that. The clouds we had, uh, the stratus and the nimbus uh, that we had during Saturday with the big storm coming in. And of course, a stratus cloud on the ground is fog, and then the higher clouds are the alto cirrus clouds here, and the highest cloud of all is the cirrus cloud. So the sun can shine through cirrus clouds, but it's not shining through cumulus clouds. And and the main reason is there's just too much moisture in the way. And so you get all that moisture. The sun is trying to go through all those little droplets. And as you mentioned, like with the rainbow, you can get all that diffraction and refraction with the rays being bent. There's just too much of it being absorbed and just being reflected back. You can even see the glow on the outside here that it just doesn't pass through the cloud if there's too much moisture. When you look at the thin cirrus clouds, it's a different story. We see that sun dimly visible through some of these clouds. And these clouds could be water or could be ice depending on exactly how it's set up in the atmosphere. And so we'll see the sun through the cirrus clouds. These are ice crystals because we can see the 22 degree halo around the outside. So the sun acting like a prism, but we can still see the sun shining through that. That's the case with the high clouds, but not with the low clouds, just too much moisture in the air. So you can stare directly at the sun, You're depending on the cloud cover. I would not do that, Roland. That is highly <laughs> not recommended. <laughs> I think that's probably a good idea. Thanks, Scott. Turning to